Welcome back to 307 Reacts. I'm Chris. This is Matt. Today we're just shooting B-roll. <laughs> today we're all, fucking around. That's all we're doing. Uh, just working with the the monitor in the background behind the camera. It's weird. We have to look down. Yeah. It's starting to get to me. The, the outside studio. I'm just kidding. It's not. The outside studio is really nice. It's not bad in here. I, I do prefer the inside. I like the inside yeah. studio. It's more it's more we're, comfortable. We'll be I, back in there. I, hopefully, think, I think hopefully by the next time next week. that we're back in there. We may have some changes, so uh, we'll have uh -huh. to see what the paycheck brings. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, yeah. So, anyways, uh, today we're reacting to "Escape the Fate" the guillotine cover by Lindsey Ray and Lauren Babic. Now, we did check out Lauren Babic last week or two weeks ago. I don't uh, remember. I don't, can't remember what it was. Um, and Lindsey Ray is something I saw in the comments over and over and over again. Like, okay. you got to check this out. I don't. Well, know. then we had a homeboy over in Douglas or Gillette. I forget his name. Um, but he said Lindsey Ray will blow our minds to check this specific song out. Really? And so okay. here's the thing. When you guys are looking for Lindsey Ray on YouTube, you'll type in L-I-N-Z-E-Y-R-A-E. And then it'll search, and then it goes, oh, did you mean Lindsey Ray? And it's spelled L-I-N-D-Z-E-Y-R-A-Y. Which you don't want. She's a big health vegan nut. Like, you you don't want that. You want metal. So so, so hopefully the screen cap is up at this point. So when YouTube be, tells you that it's wrong. You guys will be able to see it. it it's right. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Fair so. enough. Well, that's that's the intro you give yeah. me this one. I have no idea. I don't really. I know a little bit of Escape the Fate. So I, mean, I actually uh, got to meet the. Well, they had the original singer Escape the Fate. I forget his name. Uh, I, at least the guy who was singing when I saw them live was Craig and he sat behind me and my girlfriend at the time oh. at the knitting factory in VIP. Oh. Super cool guy. Yeah, cool. Like, dude, he's really down to earth. Like Word. nice right. guy. Well, I'm excited so. regardless because the, all of what we see of Lauren mm. Babbick so far has just been these amazing, amazing. Yeah. like guttural, awesome screaming, like really mm. good vocals and, and music good arrangement that, too. music that I'm totally down with. Like yeah. I love the, the bands that she's been covering. It's like my genres, my, my kind of thing. So that's uh, shall we, we? should we just yeah, let's get, we get it. into it? All right, here we go. Before we do it, like comment, subscribe and uh, give a shout out to our editor, Ronnie, cause he's the shit. And yeah. here we go. Let's get it. So do it. Look Those harmonies are amazing. What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? 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 All right, what? all night. Okay. What? <laughs> Bro, you're like, you're like, well, you know, most nights I spend like, I'll go through some nights and like, every, you know, I'll reply to like 200 comments. Are you actually yeah. replying to YouTube comments? Or are you just going through and like going into rabbit holes, like, and finding where are these just guttural ass it's coming from the vocalists? People, bro. <laughs> I, I, wow, you guys! Wow. Uh, here's the well, thing. Who is this? She who looks, is this? She looks like my second grade teacher. That's why I'm so this thrown is, off. Like, she, she looks like she looks all kind of nice and sweet, and then. <laughs> Shout out to my good friend, Freddie Gossman, if you're watching this or if you ever come across this. He's actually the old bass player for one of my bands, Cherryville. Shout out oh, to okay. one of my old metal bands, Cherryville. Um, he, it looks like his wife, Christine, mm. uh, to me, who I've, I think I've met her maybe once before, like a long time ago mm. before they got married or whatever, but I've never actually like, you yeah. know, actually, but it looks just like this her. This is a very Rashad moment. And like, dude, this is wild. Yeah. Like yeah. we never expect something like that coming out of, yeah. dude, what, what I, happened? I mean, she has a great singing voice and then Did let's you hear back it up 10 and hit that. Did you hear how low she went? Watch this. Yeah. What is that? What is that guttural, dude? 
I, dude, it's just ungodly. <laughs> like, it's so good. The tone in general is something that I wouldn't even be able to recreate, but the fact that she can do it at such a low frequency, man. Yeah. What even yeah. is that? Like, not a whole lot of guys can do that. That's what I'm you saying. Know? Like, like, it's pretty It's pretty intense. I wouldn't even be able to do the scream itself at a, at a normal tone, but mm. she will take it and do it at a tone that I can't now, even... Now, now, you do notice, like, or at least I hear in those lower ones, she's really got to put a lot of effort into shaping... Uh, the mouth to actually make that sound, Oh, yeah, for right? sure. There's and a lot of, like, lower that, jaw movement, for sure. In, well, in and, and it's that in your throat, and mm -hmm. then, you know, pushing everything from your chest. Like, it's... Breathing differently and yeah, things like that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot. It's crazy, but, man. It, it's... It, it, wow. All right. I, yeah, like, again, and, and Lauren just holding it down on the other side, so... <laughs> I'm not super... I'm not super familiar with the original version of this. We should listen to it after this. I think I've heard this, it, like, three or four times. If it's anything like, like this, like, the, the tribute to the original yeah. version, too, like, yeah. awesome. Great. So let's go back five. Yeah, let's, let's go. get it. Oh, wow. Love that. The what breakdown, is, what, man. What is that? I don't... Dude, he, he, here's what I would love to do. I would love to play in her band and just go on stage. Like, I could see I could see her opening for, like, Slipknot or something crazy, right? She all go on stage and, you know, we all come up, grab our instruments, whatever. We're kind of getting ready to tune in. Everything's good to go. And then just look out over the crowd because, you know, so many people, they're like... Oh, it's a female singer. I'm like, okay. So they're all talking to their friends, fucking going and buying beer, whatever. And then she walks out. And, and then all of a sudden she comes that, out just... Dude, and that... Like, wow, man. Yeah. It's it's like a... <laughs> it's like the... It's like the weird, hardcore side of like a home-free aspect for me. Or like a Rashad yeah. aspect. Yeah. Where like, what? How like, I still don't understand. <laughs> uh, how is she... How is she even making that noise, man? And then... You can tell because at the end of them, when she tails off, you can tell there's a female voice behind I, it. It, it. And see, the, going back to the whole like being in a band thing and watching this, I feel like if you went to a concert and you were playing on her crew, right? She get up, she starts singing, does the scream, and like it looks like the aliens from Toy Story when they're in the little <laughs> oh Ooh. yeah. <laughs> Uh, I hopefully, yeah. hopefully, I'll remember to use that for a thumbnail because that would be great. Just ball that would be like, good. <laughs> so, anyways, but yeah, it's just oh, I'm yeah, I have nothing else, dude. Let, That's, let, I, let's back it up five because this breakdown is wicked. All right, go. Mm. Wow, man. Yeah. The guitars are so big. I can love that. I, I know it's probably how the original version of the song goes, but I love probably, how the yeah. chorus starts out in that halftime and then halfway through it, do, do, ga, do, do, ga, do, yeah. they, bre they break out into that, I don't know what it is, cut time, 2-2, two, 2-4, two, uh, two, I don't know what it is, guys. It's I, double time. I don't know enough about, yeah, double time? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, let's go with that. Be, I, because the breakdown is halftime, and then the chorus... Uh, or pre-chorus, like it's a, it's a four, it's a, it's like four bars, right? Uh, yeah. Um, 
And the pre-chorus is straight time. And then it gets that, yeah. and that'd be double time. I, like, yeah, yeah I, 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 I'm a drummer, so I look at that as, you know, like my terminology for that is like halftime and then punk beat. <laughs> punk <laughs> beat. <laughs> yeah. That's it. And if, if your drummer's out there, any of my drummer mm. friends will probably understand that, you know, like yeah. rock beat. Yeah. And then punk beat. Heavy beat. Yeah. You know, like that's kind of what. So it's like heavy punk, rock, Latin, jazz, like different kinds yeah. of beats, but you kind of understand like where they come from, the yeah. roots and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So I love that. I love, that. and I'm sure that's how the original song goes. Mm-hmm. I haven't heard it, or I have, I can't remember, but like I love that style. It, it mm-hmm. inspires me to like. Yeah. I'm sitting here watching the video, but also kind of like reimagining some of my own things that I've been writing lately, and mm-hmm. going, huh. And then that, and then that inspires yeah. me to start reaching out and listening to more music like, and like, like, like Escape the Fate has always been a great band to listen to. I remember to take them, inspiration from. I remember them from back and, in the day for and, sure. And back in the day, they actually worked with Jimmy Hill over at Amplified Wax. Oh, really? Shout out to Amplified oh. Wax. When I was with Insidia, we released a single through his studio, and he has a drum head signed by Escape the Fate in his studio. That's awesome. Now, if you guys don't know uh, Amplified Wax, it's it's an amazing studio. It's located in Spokane, Washington. Uh, the guy who runs the studio actually helped write and um, produce the platinum selling record um, Clarity by Zed. Oh, he really? has the record in oh. the little ca- the platinum record in the case in his studio. I'll have to look up some photos of that place. Is it a pretty swanky little place? Oh, dude, it's so nice. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. I wish okay. my Facebook didn't get hacked. Otherwise, I'd send a picture over to the editor actually i may still do that even if you're not interested in recording music or recording studios or anything like that it's worth your time if you're in an area where there's an, a legit studio to maybe try and get in there and just take a tour yeah you would be surprised at yeah. how how elegant some of these places are like they're designed oh, and his place is beautiful and he's done tons of work since that's then. what i'm saying like, like yeah these places are designed for like audio clarity and mm. comfortability and inspiration like yeah. they're designed for people to want to come in and be inspired to write and create and record music yeah. right so you sh- i mean some studios yeah. man you walk into the place and it literally like it is it can be kind of a life-changing experience i've yeah i've recorded in a few studios mm. that have been life-changing experiences and, and jimmy hill like it, once again he's one of the best guys i've ever worked with i wish i would have been with a little bit better band at the time, um, you know, it, it, the, we were a younger band. Uh, none of us had never been down this road before yep. trying to record and stuff. And so we came to so the studio came and super, it was kind of a mess. Super and, novice. Yeah, yeah. Beginner style. Like, um, I don't know what I'm doing. But, you know, he, he was a great guy to work with. For he sure. really was. For sure. And that's so. the, that's one of the best things about yeah. a nice studio is having a great producer. Great producers are the root mm. of all of great recordings. I'm telling yeah. you guys that right now. You heard it here first. 307 Reacts. Let's get into this. Let's here we go. It. So I know that, a lot of people are going to say, oh, it doesn't take any talent to scream. It doesn't blah, 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 blah. I was, Here's the thing. I was just going to comment on the range of Lauren Babbick's oh, screams. Oh, I, ju- I was just getting there. So getting into that, so like, he, wow. Here's the thing. If you try to do a scream, right, you'll notice that, oh, my throat hurts. That's because you're doing it wrong. Really fast, and that's because you're doing it wrong. It's yeah. not just yelling at A somebody. lot of these singers that do this professionally full-time go through a lot of vocal training to be able to do that. Yeah. Now, some people does come naturally. Uh, my buddy Brendan Lutmer, he he messed up his voice one point in time for a little bit because he was doing it wrong, you're but it was it very from, easy for him to A lot adjust. of it comes from the like, chest area. It's less yeah. about doing it from your throat, which and most And to actually think. achieve tonal... 
Like, mm-hmm. and they're like, oh, they just scream. There's no music to it. No, it has a tone. You it can definitely. hear it deeper and higher. That's them tightening Which, and loosening their vocal cords to let more and less. It's tongue placement. And, see, tongue placement all, is huge. There's so much. There's so many little but tiny aspects. That here's what I wanted it. to point out. Her low stream and her high stream, I believe, are two octaves apart. That's got to be at least. At least I'm not. I'm not. A, I don't have mm-hmm. a trained ear, but it's got to be at least one. Because I mean, from the last scream that I heard her do to that one, that's an octave at least. Yeah, it's. I, 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 I know, believe it's two. But if somebody has like perfect pitch and a keyboard, or let us you know can, in the yeah, comments. If we, or if you just know offhand, I don't know yeah. if you follow her more than we do, which everyone does because we're terrible everyone, at that we're kind horrible. of stuff. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's. It's just the, yeah. the mixing between that, and I know a lot of people. This is. I know a mm. lot of our viewers. I'm sorry, you guys. This is not your cup of tea. But unfortunately for you guys, this is my cup of tea, <laughs> and we rarely get to do these kind of videos because we're stuck doing country and stuff a lot. So mm. I do that for you guys. So now you're going to do this for me, and we're going to we're going to go through the. Rest <laughs> of this video no uh, I, I love it dude it's 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 beautiful like, man. like everything that we've covered with the exception of what three artists and it, we made it very clear that we don't particularly like their music but yeah a- well. every artist that we've covered i'd enjoyed their music like, i found something out of every artist yeah. we've watched that i'm like okay i can get down with yeah. that sure so like it, it, as far as the rock you know i just read a comment today i only follow you guys for your home free react or your acapella reactions and tom mcdonald fair and enough. i was like that tells me you like a good message and you a like lot of talent. good arrangements and good vocals. Yeah, for sure. I said, check out my boy Jelly Roll. I said, I guarantee you, if you don't watch that, you're going to miss out. So here's here's the thing. Here's oh, remember, the whole I reason saw, I comments, that I wanted to start this reaction channel, okay? I wanted to start this because, number one, I would try to tell people about, oh, dude, there's this artist, you know, Ryan Upchurch or Adam Calhoun or... You know, uh, Rashad Whoever or like all be, these yeah. guys I had discovered. I was like, dude, these guys are amazing. Like, I have never heard of them. Are they on the radio? It's like, no. no okay, they're whatever. Radio then they're nothing. So uh, I was like, dude, like, there, people need to open their eyes to new talent that's coming up because the talent that's already in the industry is the same worn out old shit that's been used for the last 20 years. Bro, and, they're still playing some of the same songs from like the seventies, yeah, and the eighties and yeah. shit on the radio here, and, dude. And this is and still. this is one of those things. Matt is the only guy that I've met, number one, that has the equipment to do what I wanted to do. That was the and, first. That was his number first two. Attractor right he's there. actually willing to sit there and listen, like, and not very many people are. A lot of people, and like, let me tell you guys, country rap. I used to literally like. I would go. I used to too until I discovered Up Church. If there was, if there was like a protest against country rap, I was probably there. You know, I never went to one, obviously, but like, <laughs> if there was one, it, yeah. I was the kid that was like, "Yeah, dude, that sounds like a good idea. That that music sucks." And here yeah. I am reviewing more of that on our channel than mm. basically anything else. Mm. And I, I feel like that's that's what gained us a lot of our followers. Honestly, is well, that well kind the of thing stuff. is too is like a, a lot of people from Home Free are now discovering Tom McDonald. And I don't have any problem. And it's with like it. you know like, they're like, oh my god, that was amazing. I'm right. like, well, yeah, that's what we want to do is we want to open stuff up to you guys. And like, even if this isn't your cup of tea, we hope that you take away something that you're like, wow, I wouldn't listen to that on the regular, but like. That girl's voice is amazing. Right like, there. Boom. Right there. That, that's th- my that is like eighty five percent of my philosophy for this entire mm. ch- entire channel. That's mm. not my cup of tea. It's not something that I'm gonna seek out to listen to. Yeah. But I can find talent in this mm. and wow, I'm really glad that I was shown yeah. this because this person exists in the world and they're incredibly talented. Yeah. That's amazing. Like yeah. I, and they're gaining followers, they're getting money on it, they're doing what they're what they want to do for a living. Yeah. Like it's their dream come true. Yeah. Why wouldn't I? Why, like, that's amazing. Like, why wouldn't you be inspired by yeah, something it's, like it's that? it's beautiful. Yeah. Let's keep going. We're Let's almost go. done. Here we go. A lot of rabbit trails I'll today. See. We do what we can, you know. A guillotine? A guillotine? I think it's a guillotine. A guillotine. It's French. You should know this. I know. <laughs> I'm from Toronto. <laughs> I'm a terrible French. It's out no, from French. French. Yeah. yeah. So you're not French. That's fine. Okay, sorry. I retract my statement. I'm from sorry. Toronto. <laughs> She's all, I'm from Toronto. She's all, oh, you're not French. My bad. Sorry. I retract my statement. <laughs> I mean, some Canadians speak French. Uh, fair enough. But it's it's like that French Canadian thing, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But but Toronto is like pretty. As far as I'm familiar, I, with, I, I don't think they're heavy. No, but, I think Toronto is uh, pretty white. Quebec, <laughs> Quebec, is, it's mandatory that really? you learn French in school. Yep. I did not know. All right. Should I start or you start? I'll start. Okay. Hey guys, my name is Lauren for Banhead Denial. Oh fuck. And fuck. <laughs> <laughs> same. And, Oh fuck and fuck. <laughs> that was amazing. I love that we're not the only ones to do that. Oh, sorry. Okay. Hey guys, my name is Lauren for Banhead Denial. 
Oh, fuck. And fuck. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> and fuck. And fuck. <laughs> like, I'm so cool. And I'm like, Yee! Yeah, and Lindsay's like, Yay! Yay! <laughs> You're actually badass. It's the jacket. It's not. The jacket's wearing me. It's oh. wearing me. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, my name is Lauren from Redhead of Denial. And I'm Lindsay from The Anchor. We hope you enjoyed our cover of The Guillotine by Escape the Fate. That was a good one. Well, that was a good one. <laughs> See that's I did. It was great. That's <laughs> us, but we uh, we don't we don't cut. We just do it on screen and then just go. All right, that's the take right that's there the take. on our third try, and we just leave it. But now that we have it. an editor, who knows how this is going to turn I out? I really that, don't know, dude. This is my favorite thing about having an editor. When we get the episodes back, I'm like, oh, what did he do today? The great like, thing. Okay, here's the greatest thing about it. If you guys made it this far into the video and you're still here, get, go into the comments and just ha just do a hashtag Ronnie. Yeah. And and then we'll know that you guys hashtag are, thanks Ron hashtag thanks Ronnie yeah and uh, and then that'll be a shout out to our editor his name is yeah. Ronnie and the great thing about him doing the edits is a I don't have to do them that's the greatest <laughs> thing about it thank you Ronnie that's the number one biggest thing about it appreciate that and B now we get to watch the episodes with you guys because. Yeah. We film them now, and then we send them off, and then they come back done, and we just upload them. So yeah. when they come out at 4 o'clock, we get to watch and comment with you guys. And the thing is, he's, awesome. so, he's so creative, and he has a drive to do it. Like, this is something he wants to do full-time, and Hell I know yeah. that right now for our channel, this is him kind of putting his foot into the industry and, you know, getting his practice and seeing what works and what doesn't and all this different stuff. But he wants to do this full-time within a year. So that's his goal. And if you guys out there have YouTube channels or whatever, and you guys are looking for possibly having an editor in the near future, you can always hit us up. We'll send a message we to should, Ronnie. Ronnie, do you know his socials? You. We'll find him. I'm sure we I, have him. Or he is very anti-social. Oh, the is thing. He? Oh, so, okay. Well, okay. no, well, I don't know. <laughs> fair. I was gonna say we'll drop him in the thing below. I was like, yeah, bro, message me on Facebook. He goes, I don't have Facebook. Oh, I was okay. Like, All right, fair okay. enough. Yeah, he's, he's got a very deep voice, dude. He, dude, he's. We He's need got, to get him out here someday. We need to take a photo of his equipment because it's insane. Um, we might anyways, go over one day. And if you guys like this episode and you liked what Ronnie did with the editing, be sure to leave us a thumbs up or a thumbs yeah. down. You know, we don't really care. It doesn't really matter to us. What does matter to us is that you smash that subscribe button, ring that bell, set it to all, become part of the notification, notification gang. gang. And, and put uh, a hashtag thanks Ron down in the comments. Thanks Ronnie. And I'm going to put that in the uh, like in the title for this. It's going to be yeah. the title of the video and then it's going to be our little dash and then it's going to say hashtag thanks Ronnie. Yeah. And then if those who stay late enough will know. You yeah. guys will know and then we'll know and then you know we'll all know. Well, it's a constant shit show around here and with that we'll see you guys next time. Bow. Well, I've been fucking around, always looking down. We've been really, we've been really blowing it tonight, dude. Killing it. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Hell yeah. That's like, oh, wait. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Hang on. Oh. We'll get to the other end. All right, stick it. It's kind of limp, bro. I don't. <laughs> bro, stiffen, <laughs> stiffen that up, bro. Come we on. We stiffen it up. Oh, oh there it yeah. is. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs>